So how long has Casa Ramirez been here? Well, in this particular location, we've been here maybe 16 years. We've been on 19th Street since the early 90s. But Macario started Casa Ramirez in the mid-1980s, and it was at an East End development uh, called El Mercado del Sol, and it was to be a Mexican-themed marketplace. It was underfunded and poor leadership uh, from the management there, the developer there, but it got us our start. We actually have still have customers come in that remember us from that period of time. How That's would you right. describe Dia de los Muertos to children who are wanting to understand the altars? For children, some of them have not had any experience really with the death of a loved one. Um, and that's actually what it's all about, is understanding and honoring the loved people who have passed away. So that's what I have told. We had a young group come in yesterday, actually, and some of them have only experienced the loss of a pet. And although people can do what they like in their homes, we say it's not about pets. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have them on your personal altar. So we just talk about people do die at different times. There's been a lot of loss, and it is a very sad time. Day of the Dead is a time that is a pay tribute to people who have died. Maybe their mother or grandmother has lost someone, and they would remember that. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me again about the, the symbols of the earth, wind, fire, and air? Yes, and I'll use them. So some of the, the traditional elements that go on the altar are items that represent earth, wind, fire, and water. The earth is represented by favorite foods, by things from the earth, and by the flowers. The wind is represented by papel picado, or something that will blow in the wind. The fire comes from the candles. The flame helps the spirits find the way to their offering. Water, there's always something to drink on the altar. The spirits have come a long way and they are very thirsty. They need to be refreshed. Mm -hmm. Favorite be beverages in addition to water are also frequently added. The marigold is a very traditional, this represents the, the marigold. The simple is an mm -hmm. ancient flower, the flower of the dead. It represents the sun. The aroma helps the spirits also find the way. So there's so much symbolism involved in everything. That's fantastic. Photographs are a very um, traditional um, thing to have on an altar. Sugar skulls also, we have some very large ones here we collected from uh, Mexico City. And the sugar skull Mm. represents, uh, is like a gift to the person that has passed away. And the skulls for Day of the Dead are not intended to be scary or gruesome. They're intended, the ones we have here are smiling, they're doing everyday things, maybe dancing or getting married, riding a bicycle. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Is Casa Mary still offering classes? Uh, yes, well, We've had a number of classes and sessions over the years. We do have a classroom in the back. Uh, this season, we always have had classes on Dia de los Muertos and on the traditions of the Day of the Dead. And actually, we have one more class uh, on Saturday. We are having to very be, be very restrictive on how many we can seat just because of the coronavirus mm -hmm. uh, restrictions on that. We've altered our schedule. We're not having a big reception, we're, but we're having an open house and we're viewing the altars. People can participate in the community altar. Oh, thank you. Can you tell us about your open house? The open house is uh, Saturday, October 24th from 4 to 7. Actually, the exhibit continues through November 15th. So the altaris will be up through that time. We as we move past the 24th, and especially for the actual days of November 1st and 2nd, we'll be lighting candles, we burn the incense, which helps the souls find their way to the celebration, to, the, to their offerings. Um, and, um, but the open house will just be a time for people to come through. It's on a Saturday evening. And these are all family members? 
Or is it just that this section? This becomes um, individuals who have come in to honor their, this is uh, Lee Gonzalez, mm -hmm. his father, who was in the fire department. And he has made a, uh, and his mother helped him do it with handmade flowers around, and I see it as being the circle of life. The marigold is the very traditional flower, the Simposuchil for Direros Muertos, mm -hmm. and it represents the sun. And you'll see that as we go through several of the uh, altars or ofrendas. But Lee has his dad's fire department district chief hat, and he's got pictures of him from a young boy to um, an adult. And right there is with his own family altar and his dad's brothers and sisters on, in that photograph there. Uh, Lee is very much into genealogy, mm -hmm. and this is his family tree down here. So he starts with his father, and then he's done it like a fan, which makes it very easy to follow. So he's done a beautiful job on it. Wow, that's amazing. Edgar has done this to his mother, Maria Guadalupe Navarrete. Mm -hmm. She loved Loteria. This was a red tablecloth, actually, that he remembers growing up with. And so he has very fond memories of it. And she crocheted and she knitted. So this is a piece that she made. Still waiting is a larger picture of her or perhaps a image of the of Virna of Guadalupe, mm, which of mm -hmm. course whom she was named for. So this also has some personal mementos for her. She, uh, she loved the elephant. This was a symbol of peace for her and her angel. Mm -hmm. uh. This one is done by uh, Jerry Nevadas to his grandmother, Petra. Mm -hmm. And then this is also other family members he's been able to trace down. So he has a wonderful array of uh, relatives that he is honoring here on mm -hmm. his altar o ofrenda. Um, Jerry had made this arch. He does an altar every year at home. So he made these flowers and uh, he made those up at the top as well. He has this symbolizing the fruit because we keep them up for several weeks. We don't mm -hmm. always put mm -hmm. out fresh foods right away. But November 1st and 2nd are the days of the actual celebrations. Mm -hmm. And that's when we make sure we have fresh pan de muerto, which is the traditional bread, fresh fruits. This is the time of the harvest. Some people will even bring in mole and uh, tacos, huevos con chorizo, something like that. So. Um, Back on down this way, this is the altar or ofrenda to my husband, uh, Macario Ramirez. He was the founder of the shop. He has taught many, many people how to honor the traditions of Dia de los Muertos. It was uh, been a very important for us here at Casa Ramirez. We have the things here that symbolize earth, wind, fire, and water, which are the four natural elements. The earth is represented by flowers and favorite foods. It's represented here by, he loved to collect a driftwood. And I have something representative of sugar cane and the flowers. Madre Tierra, up to the heavenly realm. realm. That symbolizes the sun at the top, the, the, the moon, the stars are in our lights. They light the heavens and then we include uh, some of the pre-Columbian influences in honoring the dead, as well as the symbolism from the Catholic Church as well. So we have all that here we've tried to incorporate in this tribute to him. The, uh, we have some items from his collections of milagros or miracles. Ojo de venado, which is protection from evil. The corazón is the heart. Then we, of course, have photographs, if you've seen in most cases. Mm -hmm. the, we see the butterfly. Um, this is the, their time of migration. Uh, they're migrating to Michoacan uh, in central Mexico, which is a predominant uh, nesting site for them over the winter. And it's believed in that region that the souls of the dead return with the butterflies. They also have their own transformation, their own cycle of life. So there's so much symbolism in everything that's done 
when you prepare something, uh, an altar, a tribute for someone who has passed. This is a family altar here. These are my parents on the left and my husband's father, Jesus Ramirez, and his mother, Marina. My parents were George and Chrissy Dickerson. We have uh, right here with representative of the Marigold, the Simpasuchi, we have favorite foods. It tears here from the floor up to the, the celestial realm again. The arch is seen as a symbol of respect. And it's also the way which helps guide those souls to their own personal offering. The fire comes from the candles. And for the, there's always something to drink. What we have out now is the water. The, the souls are very thirsty. They've come a long way and they need refreshment. Salt is seen as a protection from evil. Mm -hmm. And Macario loved to say, tell stories of his grandmother. When he'd break something, she'd say, oh, go get the salt, you know, he'd throw it over his shoulder and protect himself from the evil. This last one is our community ofrenda. And this is the one that we invite everyone to participate in. We make these cutouts available that people can write a name on this and mm -hmm. place it anywhere on the uh, ofrenda. An ofrenda is offering. It's another word for altar. It's an altar offering. So we're just getting started with this earlier in the week, but we're beginning to add a few names as people come in and we'll be adding more pictures as the weekend progresses. So this is our celebration for Dia de los Muertos. How fantastic. A wonderful time to honor ancestors and loved ones. It is believed that the heavens open on midnight, October 31st, although this is not at all associated with Halloween and the spirits are begun, they can begin their journey here to earth to be with the living. Uh, November 1st is usually considered for children, Los Angelitos, the little angels, and then November 2nd for adults. So we welcome spirits and souls of the dead here at Casa de Amigos. It's a very dear time to us. Mm -hmm. for, for Dia de los Muertos and for honoring my husband, Macario Ramirez, here, this has really been my mission uh, with him gone. He left us such a legacy and we have so much to thank him for. Not only me personally, we have many community members that come in and just acknowledge uh, what he has taught them and the leadership he gave them. So this is a way of con trying to continue his legacy.